they usually not using kerang, but yeah, they what? <laughs> okay. Right. So after that uh, in, uh, finding in uh, 1947 in Uganda, then the Zika virus is traveling around the world. And what has been uh, already explained by Matteo, yeah, in <coughs> at our institution, just last year, we reported the finding for the first time in Indonesia, Zika virus. Yeah. Zika virus has not been isolated in Indonesia before. It has been reported as uh, only a serological positive in some individual, but not the virus. About the same time, sorry, uh, the samples uh, we uh, tested in our laboratory were collected uh, from the KLB, from the outbreak of dengue, dengue fever in Jambi between December 2014 and April 2015. And two or three months after that, we identified Zika virus in one of the sample. I will uh, uh, tell, tell you later uh, about the detail. About the same time, Brazil reported for the first time it's around May 2015 that they have a sudden increase in Zika virus infection incident. That's why they reported to the AHO, this is a Pan, Pan American uh, Health Organization and also the WSO. But when we reported to the uh, minister yeah, during uh, this month, uh, August, August 2015, there was no uh, strong reaction from everybody because Zika virus so far is only considered as uh, the cause of very mild infection, very mild symptom. Yeah. No uh, death has been reported from Zika before. That's why uh, until August, until uh, September, October, there was no uh, reaction from everybody in Indonesia. Even after I reported to the Minister of uh, Health. But uh, after the issue became uh, very, very hot later, then we realized that we have to do something. Let's look to this uh, graph. This is uh, reported uh, by uh, American countries, South American in particular. This is uh, weeks, yeah, uh, weeks of uh, 52 in 2015, and this is 2016. Yeah, we can see that suddenly the incidence of Zika virus infection increased very sharply. Of course, everybody uh, uh, who understands uh, epidemiology will be uh, surprised with this fact. Very surprising because uh, it was not uh, there before, even in the beginning of 2015. It was not uh, reported at all. And Then, after uh, several months, we can see not only Brazil who reported the Zika virus incident, also other countries, other neighboring countries, up to this, you can see Mexico, right? This is only happened in only very few months. So again, 
Epidemiologically, this is very, very important. We will see uh, what happened with other countries. This is uh, reported on uh, 17th of January. There were 18 countries and territories in the Americas that have confirmed autochthonous. Autochthonous means the infection is coming from internal, not imported. Yeah. Circulation of Zika virus yeah, in 2015 and 16. So these are the countries yeah, from Brazil to Venezuela. And from November 2015 to, 2000, to January 2016, local transmission of virus was detected in another 14 new countries and territories. So you can see within few months, already uh, several other countries uh, affected by this virus. So this table was uh, described in detail which countries are affected and number of uh, cases reported. Uh, I don't want to go into detail, but uh, let's see this total. Now already 100, I think now already 150,000, yeah, up to this month, uh, reported cases of uh, Zika virus infection. Okay. Again, only within several months. Okay, so why it is uh, becoming very important if uh, uh, we compare to dengue infection in Indonesia, probably uh, actually the number is still small. But we have to see this uh, graph. This is the outbreak of fresh and fever detected uh, in Brazil, yeah, in Americas. So it is uh, week 48, 2014. And then in uh, 2015, at week, around at week uh, 20, uh, the first Zika virus identified. Okay. And what is uh, surprising and also threatening is the number of microcephaly. Microcephaly yeah. among uh, newborn babies. Microcephaly means when the baby was born, the size of the head is significantly smaller than normal. We use uh, uh, the difference is three standard deviation. So, uh, quite significant. Yeah, we will see the, the picture later. So, if we analyze this one, yeah, this is the, the, the outbreak, and then this is, uh, so suppose the mother are pregnant yeah, uh, several weeks after the first exposure. This is the first trimester of uh, pregnancy. And then uh, laboratory confirmed Zika virus. Yeah. And then when they after uh, after uh, nine months, yeah, after the exposure, then they deliver babies. Yeah. So from this uh, uh, graph, we can understand why the government of Brazil considered that. There is a possibility of correlation between the increase, sudden increase of microcephaly and exposure of pregnant women to Zika virus. Yeah. Although there is no strong evidence yet, because uh, I will tell you uh, later uh, why it is not scientifically uh, proven yet uh, by experience, experiment. This is just proven by epidemiological study. That's why, you know this lady? This is uh, Margaret. Okay. Margaret Chan, not Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. Margaret Chan, the Director General of uh, WSO, 
become uh, very pushing, yeah. uh, she got headache and she probably at that time she was trying to explain the microcephaly <laughs> and finally she accepted the recommendation from the expert and she made a statement please uh, look carefully to the, this statement I am now declaring that the recent cluster of microcephaly cases and other neurological disorders reported in Brazil following similar cluster in France, Polynesia in 2014 constitute a public health emergency of international concern. This is uh, another word for pandemic. Yeah. Public health emergency of international concern. Is, uh, the abbreviation is fake, fake. If we uh, look at this statement, usually a pandemic or epidemic related to a uh, pathogen, right? But this is for the first time that a public health emergency of internet concern is related not to the pathogen itself but to the clinical condition. Clusters cluster of microcephaly and neurological disorders. But of course there is uh, another explanation for that. In part of the statement, she also mentioned that the expert agreed that a causal relationship between Zika infection during pregnancy and microcephaly is strongly suspected. Remember, strongly suspected. Do not yet scientifically proven. Okay, as I mentioned before, that so far there is no experiment yet. Yeah. All agreed on the urgent need to coordinate international effort to investigate and understand this relationship better. Yeah. So, again, even when she made the statement, she realized that there is no uh, scientific, strong scientific evidence for this. Okay. Uh, by definition, yeah, uh, a, a fake or public health emergency of international concern is an extraordinary event which is determined to constitute a public health risk to other states through the international spread of disease and to potentially require a coordinated international response. This is uh, uh, one of the reasons why she issued the uh, faith. So the implication of faith is first, of course, the incident should be serious, sudden, unusual and of course unexpected yeah. and then it carries implication for public, public health beyond the, the affected states national border we can see that uh, not only brazil is aspect, uh, affected but also neighboring countries and up to mexico and possibly to other continents and of course, once it has been declared as uh, fake, then it may require immediate international action. This is also the reason why Indonesia also become more and more busy with Zika. Okay. So far, WSO has been uh, declared fake only for three times before, three, three, uh, three occasions. The first one was uh, in 2009 for H1N1, 25th of April. And then the second one is 2014 for Ebola virus. It was uh, issued uh, on 8th of August 2014. And then for polio virus, 2015, August. 
and February, the first February 2016. If you look at this uh, 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 